Let me talk about Yakuza first, and then we'll come back. I want to build the anticipation in John's brain. <laughs> Jose, do you mind if I go get some more water while you do that? Just because I haven't played five, so I don't have much to add to the conversation. What are you talking about? God ah. damn it! <laughs> also, I don't have yeah, to everybody out here either. I've, I've, I, I haven't, I haven't finished any of the Yakuza games, so I, I will stay very spoiler free. But, but feel, and but that's feel... all I got. <laughs> Me and Derek are going to keep bothering you until you beat zero, John. I'm, I'm working on it. Yes, yeah, John, you look so comfy. I'll be right back. What that? Jealous. You you just look so comfy. It's very yeah no it's it's very uh, it's very uh, I guess uh, you could say snuggly. <laughs> um, anyway, I guess I guess this actually kind of leans in pretty well with what you're talking about um, with the kind of checklist feeling. Um, I'm loving every single s- second I I am spending with the Yakuza series. Oh, shit. <laughs> Even though I'm kind of you know binge playing through them. But I, I am feeling a bit of the wear and tear that admittedly I am doing myself because I am playing them back to back. And those games are extremely similar without any giant advancements between them. And I just can't fucking help myself. I have to do the sub stories. And there's like 10 of them between every single like main story mission. And it just throws the pacing out the window. I'm like, oh, wait, who's this guy? What? Who, who are you? But uh, all, all the wackiness is still in t- is, is still intact at the very least. But um. This isn't so much a spoiler, but four and five uh, or four was the first game in the series that gives you multiple playable characters. And the five kind of continues that and expands on it a bit more with different playable areas versus the uh, one city that you play in for most of the series, which is Kamurocho. But I don't think that the the way that they have you swap between characters, you don't get to choose until the, the very final chapter. Um, it's, it's, you play a chapter as one character in, in one city, and then you get to a climax in their story, and then it shifts to someone completely different. So, and you do that five different times. So it's, a, it's a, admittedly slightly tedious having to re-level each character as you get to them, because nothing carries over. But the, um, the, sk- the skill trees aren't too expansive, so it's, it doesn't take too long, but it's just five separate occasions that you're kind of redoing this over and over and over again. Um, but it's it's still a good time. I, I guess the the one little headache I accidentally caused myself was um, one of the later characters you play as. His entire side story and in every single character, in addition to their own story and their own chapter, uh, has a side story that can last like five or six hours and introduces like completely different gameplay mechanics that are not required in the main game. Uh, so the last guy is just he has this whole journey he goes on by. Um, by playing at a batting cage for five hours. And so I grinded, I got my batting skills up, even though it has no impact on my actual Yakuza fighting abilities. And I completed it. I was like, wow, that was a pretty cool, challenging five to six hour game of um of baseball. And it has some, it's not like super crazy in depth with the baseball mechanics. It's not gonna match like MLB the show, but for what it is, kind of what's tossed into what's ostensibly a Japanese RPG beat 'em up. It's it's pretty crazy in depth, but the part where I fucked up was I went through that entire six hour journey without unlocking the ability to slow down time. So there were a lot of challenges I had to redo like 20 times in a row because I did not fucking unlock that. I just went down to like pure. OK, I got to nail this exact time. You got to get five home runs in a row. And, and that's not fucking easy. So, so I, I felt pretty dumb over that. <laughs> I'm I, I am going to get around to these eventually. Um I, I am actually really excited for Like a Dragon, just you know, because it's a turn based RPG. Um, but uh I saw Dio in chat uh getting mad because I haven't uh really got dipped my toe into zero yet. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm working on it. There's just there's so much to play right now that it's it's hard to it's hard to know what to prioritize. But I'm I'm getting there. I I think so is Zero the only one you've played so far? Yes, and I'm 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 not that far into it. I I would say maybe do the opposite of what I'm doing and just pace yourself out, and uh, particularly pace yourself out between Kiwami two and three because three was not remade uh, like Kiwami two was. It's just basically the the PS three game uh, that's uh, just uh, remastered a little bit, and it is a rough rough ass transition. A lot of the quality of life stuff is gone. The animations are totally 
<laughs> early PS3 quality. So that's a. Uh, did they did they reintroduce content that I had heard like didn't originally didn't make it into the original um, US version? For for which one? For three. So hold on, wait. I'm confused. Should I not play Zero first? No, you. you, no, you no, absolutely no, you're should. Good. Okay. Um, I don't mean to hijack what you're saying, but like Zero is the best place to start. Not only because it is literally the earliest point in the story, but like it's it's kind of the best Yakuza game, hands down. And it, it, it introduces a lot of things that actually make one more enjoyable because you get a, a larger background for certain characters that are very integral to that story. Um, it kind of works to a degree. It kind of works both ways. Like people that played the games in chrono- chronological release, they get like a nice like, oh, this is how it was before. But if you're like mm-hmm. me or John, you're coming into, zero, into the series with zero. It's just as good of a, as a starting off point as one is. Oh, yeah. I actually was watching because uh, Clemps, Mr. Clemps on YouTube is actually good boy been streaming. Clemps. Really, really good boy. And I found out non-binary recently. Fucking hell yeah. Um, yeah, they've been they've been streaming Yakuza 1 and talked about how that's the first one they've played because they wanted to do that before they played Kiwami. And it's aged a lot better than I remembered. I mean, there's still issues with the dub, like some ableism and shit. But overall, it does have Mark Hamill. I was about to say, and also Mark has, Hamill's there. It has Mark Hamill as like a Mark Hamill's Majima, which is the best fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, seriously. Like, I don't know how you can beat that aside from just the original Japanese voice actor. But um, yeah, like I, I would definitely mirror what 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 Jose is saying. Like, it's it's neither one is like the proper way, but sorry, I'm. I drank like half that bottle of whiskey. <laughs> I didn't expect to. I'm kind of gone. But it's all uh, good. talk amongst yourselves. Uh, I want to go ahead and jump over to um, what Sarah wanted to bring up with gears. I guess the last thing I want to say is, um, yeah, just, just pace yourself out on Yakuza. Don't do what I did. <laughs> Give yourself a huge ass palate cleanser in between. And uh, you should really do the sub stories in two. If they, they don't uh, baby around, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, Dio in chat was saying don't play them. Uh, don't play them in a row either. Takes space amount. Takes some time between them. Mm-hmm. All right, Sarah. Right, say, floor. Well, I would just say especially with one Kiwami one to Kiwami two. Um, I started playing Kiwami two on Game Pass just because I didn't. I mean, I ordered the PS4 version recently, but I didn't for that. Um, it's not at the very beginning. It doesn't feel so much as a as a remake as Kiwami was. It feels different. So if you jump from one to the other, it might actually be very jarring. So give yourself that space that Jose is talking about. It's sorry, especially Sarah. with three. All right, Sarah, three you have 